All right, so we know that some of your kids are already out of school for the Thanksgiving holiday. My son is probably still sleeping right now. <laughs> you may be trying to think, though, of ways to entertain them until Thursday. And also, while you're busy cooking on Thanksgiving, you don't want them running around the kitchen, no, you know, no. knocking something over. So joining me now is Don Gertman with Michaels to show us some easy holiday kids' craft ideas. I know Mel in particular. My children are a little older, so they know to stay out of the kitchen. But yes. Mel's are young, and it's tough to come up with some things. You don't want them sitting there watching TV and playing video games all day. Exactly. exactly. All right, so you brought in some some great easy this kind of stuff Very that you may even have around the house, exactly, right? Exactly, exactly. Cuz I will say at Michaels there's there we're limited on the Thanksgiving inventory. These are just a few things that I was able to find. Yeah, cuz they're um, already celebrating Christmas. Christmas. I was in oh, there just the other swing. day. I'm like, "Lord, yes, <laughs> let me full move swing. right by." Okay. So, so what are some ideas? This is great. So this, this is, is toilet a, paper. Yeah. yeah, just use an empty toilet uh Paper, paper roll. roll. Mm -hmm. Yep, and then just get some googly eyes, and I use craft foam, and that's what um, the feathers for the turkey is made out of. I was able to find some of this, or you can even just cut them out in shapes. Um, but basically, this is something that you can do with your kids. I call it the grateful turkey because they just put um, things that they're grateful for. So this one says family, house, friends, teachers. Um, but this you know, is something very simple. It is, and what I love about this, it's not messy. And you no. can let the kids, we often have a kid's table for Thanksgiving, because I'm from the oh, area, great. so we have a big, so you can use this to decorate the table with, Absolutely. right? And the kids can talk about it, yep. right? Absolutely. And um, couldn't you also use, because I love doing the handprints, yes, right? That's so you adorable. put it on some construction paper and cut it out, and then you have the kids' handprints. That, that's, that's another an even option. better idea. I, I like love that. It. I love that idea. I love this. So great. the next one is um, a leaf turkey. So basically, I just use artificial. Um, fall leaves to create the feathers for the turkey. You can go outside and pick some, and or you can do the same thing that you mentioned about cutting the hands out in the construction paper with the construction paper. There's a template that you can actually download, but I just kind of freehand this, just uh, drawing the turkey out, the turkey's body out on on butcher paper, brown paper. If you have a brown paper bag, you can use that, and I just use markers to draw in the eyes. And, and I love faces. that you can just keep this for the next year, too. Absolutely. Right? Get you know, the kids to sign their name. Remember. Yes. I know how yeah. quickly they grow. And then I just put this on cardstock, but you can use construction paper. Whatever you've got around the house, right? Exactly. And then how did you make this? So what you do is yeah. the coffee filter turkey. So basically, you have a coffee filter, and you want to cut it up in four pieces. So you wind up with a piece like this. Then you fold it in half, Okay. fold it in half again. Then you take your scissors and just round off the edges, like so. All right, and hold that up when you're done so they can see. Okay, I see, it's all right. It doesn't have to be perfect, right? I mean, yes. And we know that the, the three and four-year-olds, it won't be. Oh, so look, it takes that yeah. shape. So once you do that, then what you want to do is make sure you line the table with newspaper or even brown paper. Um, and then you just use washable markers. The key is washable markers and just kind of draw lines. And then what you want to do is just spritz the paper with water, like you could just put. Oh, and it'll, yeah. right. Okay, so it kind and of I, bleeds together like yes. it did on this. And then you'll see the colors run together when you start adding the water to it. Which the kids will love seeing, Oh, right? my God, yes, yes. And it's just spritzing. Yeah, just okay. spritz. I doused that right there. I really <laughs> did when I was <laughs> making it. great. <laughs> yes, I doused it, but just you got to let it dry before you can um, glue, glue it, it to the here. back And of what did the, you use? Can you just I use just regular use, Elmer's or, or Yes, yes. Yeah. You can use regular Elmer's um, tacky glue. It takes a while for it to to dry, um, and then I just use some googly eyes, and the body is made out of foam, which is the same material um, that the leaves are made out of, and but simple. And you, and you could, could even you put could, a magnet on it. You could a magnet, or you could put place settings, right? It's so you true. could have. Well, you know what? I have learned so much from you over the years. <laughs> it's fantastic. I mean, you are, you are such a part of my Thanksgiving oh, celebrating with my family. You. I'm just telling you right now, and thank with you, the kids and the crafts, you. it's great. Thank you so much, Don. I really appreciate thank you being you. here. And of course, we want to continue to prepare you for your Thanksgiving meal. Also, still ahead, we're going to show you how to set your table without breaking the bank. That's coming up at 8:45.